Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video I'm doing another tag for you and in this tag I'm going to be doing the Tolkien tag. So this is all themed around uh, J.R.R. Tolkien um, and your history with the series. Question number one is how does your Middle Earth story begin? And for me it starts when I was about eight, nine, ten years old. I think it was about nine. Um, and we had a travelling theatre group come to my primary school and they put on a production of The Hobbit for us. There was only three or four of them actually in the theatre company and they did all these characters themselves. So they did all uh, of the Twelve Dwarfs, they did Bilbo, they did Gandalf, they did Beyon, they did uh, the Dragon, they did the People of Lake Town, uh, they did all the Elves, um, the Spiders uh they they just covered all of those those characters themselves and it's one of the earliest um iterations of fantasy i remember watching or experiencing and i fell in love with it and it was one of those few things that at that age actually stayed with me um and then a year maybe um not quite a year later i actually um was at a school book fair and the hobbit was then on a book stand and I picked it up and never looked back. That That's how my journey started. Question number two is, what is your favourite Middle Earth book? And I have to say, because it was the first, it's The Hobbit. Uh, this is a version that I bought uh, not that long ago. Um, it's uh, leather bound, a very thin leather bound. It's got very Bible thin pages in it. I haven't actually picked it up to read this version itself yet. Um, it actually comes in a box set with the Lord of the Rings trilogy as well. Um, so this is my very favourite. It's the first, it's the one that made me fall in love with Middle Earth in the first place. So that's the one that I will always, always reach for if you ask me what is my favourite book and what is my favourite Middle Earth book. Question number three, what is your favourite movie? And it's The Fellowship of the Ring, uh, without a doubt. The Fellowship of the Ring, I have trouble with reading it. Um, I struggle with the first quarter or so of the book. I struggle with intro the introduction to Frodo, Sam, Merry and Pippin. I struggle with how long it takes him to get out of the Shire. I then struggle through the whole part with Tom Bombadil and with them being trapped by the Barrow Rites, right up until they put, get to the point where they get to Bree, uh, where they're supposed to meet Gandalf and where they first meet Aragorn or Strider as he's known at that point. And I really, really struggle. And what I absolutely loved about the film is that it left that bit out. At first, I didn't. Um, I went to watch the movies on my own. Um, and the first time I watched The Fellowship of the Ring, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. It was just, they'd made so many changes as far as I could tell, because I'd read the book not that long before I went to see it. And I just, there was just something about it that I didn't like. And then I told myself off and I went back to see it again. And this time I went in with no preconceived ideas. I tried to ignore the fact that I knew the book quite well. And I completely changed my opinion. I Now it's my favourite book. It's the one that draws me in every single time. Um, I love the fact that Peter Jackson was brave enough to leave out that whole section, to shorten the section with... Um, the Hobbits leaving the Shire and to remove the whole Tom Bombadil section um, and I think he might have actually kind of pulled some of that into the second film um, around the the Ents part of it so I just really love the way he did that and I just loved the way it then appeared on screen and again it, it was just like when I saw the adaptation of The Hobbit done by the Travelling Theatre Company it just made me love the entire series even more and I couldn't wait for the next uh, films to come out and I it immediately triggered me to reread the, the whole series over again even though I'd only just finished rereading the first book anyway. Question number four, movies or books? This is the only time you'll hear me say this, both. I love them equally, I love them for different reasons and I would, if if you love fantasy, you love fantasy reading, you love high epic fantasy books, read the books. If you love fantasy movies, detail in the, the level of detail that goes into these, um, definitely watch the movies. 
I, I can't recommend either highly enough. They are just some of my absolute favourites and I think there is something for everyone in all of these. And that's not something I say lightly because as a massive Harry Potter fan, there are films in the Harry Potter series that I do not like and would never pick over the books. So definitely both Lord of the Rings um, films, although except for The Hobbit. Do not like The Hobbit films. I'll leave it there. Question number five, who is your favourite character? Ah, uh, I don't have one. I actually really like them all. For um, hormonal early 20 year old Legolas, definitely, um, from the films that is, not from the books. Um, but other than that, no, I can't really say that I do have uh, any favourites. Um, I, I love them all equally, I love them all for different reasons. Um, I think one of the best storylines is Boromir um, in the first book because he he struggles and he then does have a, a great redemption um, towards the end of that book um, and other than that I can't really pick anything or anyone. Question number six is a best actor or character, character match and although I don't like the Hobbit films I do love the casting of Bilbo Baggins. Um, he is just, and his name escapes me, so I'm going to put it on screen. Um, but I really think he does get the character of Bilbo right, 100% right. And then equally, Ian Holm, who plays the um, older Bilbo in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, uh, he really does as well bring the character to life. So uh, I think that has to be one of the best casting matches um, across the whole series. Other than that, I'm happy with all of them. I think they all have picked up on their, their characters um, and their attributes really, really well uh, and, and did actually do extremely well at portraying who they were playing. So, Question number seven is, what is your favourite place in the whole of Middle Earth? And I think, thinking about it, um, from the books, it has to be Bayon's home in The Hobbit. Um, it's a place of sanctuary, it's a place of peace and I always enjoy reading that section when I get to it um, so I do think that that would be one of my, I'd love to just turn up there um, and just sit with a book in a corner of his home and read for a while uh, and I think that's a measure of a, of a good favourite place for me is do I want to read in it Question number eight is, what is your favourite quote? Or do you have any favourite quotes? Um, pretty much anything wise said by Gandalf. But my absolute favourite is uh, from the Fellowship of the Ring. And that is Gandalf saying, if you're referring to the incident with the dragon, I was barely involved. I love that line in the book. And I absolutely love uh, the actor's portrayal of that that sentence as well when he says it in the film so um, that's got to be one of my favourites and it pretty much springs to mind any time someone asks me for a quote that or all who wander are not lost all those who wander are not lost um, so that's about it really um, so there we go that was the Tolkien tag uh, as I do with all my tags, I will leave the questions in the information box down below. So if you want to have a go and do this tag yourself, then very much please do, especially if you're a Tolkien fan, obviously. Uh, but if you've enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up and please, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.